Today we're going to do a really cool assignment using stop motion and your Chromebook. If you don't have a Chromebook but you have a camera, this should all work the same. Fingers crossed, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, let's find out. Items needed for your animation. Chromebook, stop motion animator app by S. Zager. We'll download that in the next step. And then any random stuff you can find. Just grab two or three things. Or six. Also, a coffee tin and a hardcover book. Look, you don't have to have these two items, but it's gonna look a lot better if you do. If you can go find them, pause the video, see if you can find any hard can or hardcover book or a uh, pie tin, something flat and, and rigid that you can use. And the purpose of these is we're actually gonna use that to make a stand that will go in front of our Chromebook. So in our Chromebook camera, because the Chromebook camera is up here on top, right? I have a little stage. You don't even need a stage, but it's gonna look way cooler if you make a little bit of a, a setup for it. So if you see on the screen, now I might have to adjust. I might put books under my Chromebook. So I have two books I'm gonna put under my Chromebook and get it so that the, the camera angle is seeing my stage, see my hand on the stage in the background. And that's, that's to make it look to make it look cooler. I put it right there so that the bottom of the book is right at the bottom of the screen on the Chromebook so that we're not seeing all the junk behind it. Also, I would put a, this is what, cardboard or whatever. I know that's not cardboard. And I'll show you from another angle now. Now you can see how there's a backing behind it and how the can is holding it flat in front of the Chromebook. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to Chrome and download the app. Go to Chrome and you're going to type in bit.ly forward slash CB stop mo. That will take you to the Chrome, Chrome web store and you'll see the stop motion animator app. And all you have to do is launch the app and give it permission to access your camera. Just launch the app. Now you can also make sure to set up your can and your flat surface so that you can move it along that surface or not. You can just hold the object in front of the camera. It's gonna look cooler if you do this. Now you're gonna hit the space bar and then you're gonna move your object forward just a little bit. Then you can tap space bar again. And what space bar does is every time you hit space bar, it takes a picture. So you're gonna move it until it goes off the side of the screen. You could have it move around and go back. And when you're done, you're gonna hit space bar five to 10 times just with nothing on the screen anymore. Your character has stopped moving. This is so that at the end of the animation, we can sort of see it's ended. Okay, so now you're gonna to get to see me play back this animation by just hitting the play button. And voila, we have our character walking across the screen. I'm gonna do that again. Yay. And you can speed it up, make it go faster, or you can slow it down. And depending on the look you want to get, um, it will depend on if you go slower or faster. This is another thing you can do that's a lot of fun is you can add audio, so you can record audio. So watch this, it's gonna count down. Three, two, one. The end. Now, let's play it back. The end. There you go. So you can add your own custom sound effects. Um, uh, there are other ways to add sound effects. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but it's pretty cool that you can do it right here and record your own audio. So you could, make, you could make footsteps. I could replace that audio. Record audio. Three, two, one. Clip, 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 clip. Now let's see if that worked. I think you have to let it play full. Yep, there you go. Now, uh, a lot of people like to add music. 
That's something we'll do outside of this. This video is not to cover that. And then saving, let's, let's save. You can call it my first animation, whatever you want. And then look at this, it's gonna let you save it. I'm gonna save it into my downloads and you're gonna see that it is a WebM file. So we're just gonna save it, whatever it's called right now. Okay, and it's done and you can, you, some, if you want, you can look in the folder and see where that is. And there it is, it's a .webm type. It's a WebM video, okay. And what we need it to be is an MPEG video. So we're gonna get into how to do that next. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Zamzar, okay, so you're gonna search for that. This is a great website for converting all kinds of different files. We're gonna go ahead and say add file, and we're gonna select our, um, whatever your first animation, and it was the WebM file. And then we're gonna select convert to. And we're going to say we want to convert it to an MP4. For Google Classroom, MP4 is great. And then we're going to say convert now. Down here, progress. Should be converting. And just wait for it. And then you're going to click download. Nice big download button right next to it. And we're going to save that back into our downloads. This time I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to just type a big MP4 four next oops mp and four so i i know this is my mp4 file and then you're going to click the save button which is down here sorry you can't see it it's below my screen wherever your save button is hit save or hit enter and that's going to download your video your most of your browsers have a little window that opens down here so you can see it okay well now why don't you grab some other items in your house and animate those and see what you can do to create your own original animation. You can have a lot of fun with this and there's so many possibilities and really uh, there's some amazing stuff out there. And there's some other really great apps that I'd love to recommend. There's one called Stop Motion Studio that's for your phone and man, I, I love that app. I, I like it. I like it better than this, this app. This app is awesome if all you have is a Chromebook. But if you have a phone, if you have a newer, like in the last, I don't know, five years, if you have a phone from the last five years with a decent, any kind of camera, um, Stop Motion Studio is really good. I'm gonna put links in the description for the converter plugin, for the Chrome uh, extension app that opens, for uh, Stop Motion Studio, um, all the things we've talked about, there will be links in the description and share this with friends if you think it's useful. And um, yeah, have a great day and get animating. Can't wait to see what you made.